wanted to come on um, and talk about lament for my devotional, um, which is something God has been speaking to me a lot about um, for quite a long time now. Um, it's one of those things I God speaks to me about and then I kind of forget it and then it comes back up again. Um, and I think lament is one of the greatest gifts that the church has had, um, but it's a gift that has been left in the back of the cupboard to collect dust a little bit. Um, so lament is an ancient practice. Um, you find lament um, in multiple places in the Bible. Um, it's frequently mentioned and used a lot in Psalms. Um, a lot of the Psalms are Psalms of lament. Um, and there is an entire book of the Bible dedicated to lamentation. Um, and the best way I can understand lament um, is the bridge between the pain of our present and the promises of our future. And it's in that gap or in that bridge between the two that the song of lament kind of lives. Um, and I think grief, um, which can be so much more than just bereavement, um, but pain and grief are well understood things in the world now. I think most people have probably heard of things like the five stages of grief. Um, I think the church as Christians, we there is an extra layer to things like the five stages of grief and that is working through our pain with God. Um, Mark Rogop, who writes an amazing book on lament called Dark Clouds and Deep Mercy, um, he defines lament as a prayer in pain that leads to trust. Um, and it's one of my favourite definitions of lament because I think it really sums up what it means. It is bringing our pain, our despair, our agony and our questions, those kinds of questions that you are afraid to even think, let alone verbalise to someone else. So those questions of, is God really real? If God loved me, how could this happen? It's bringing those to God. And lament is based on our belief in God. It is based on our understanding that God is good, that God is faithful, that God is powerful, that God loves us. And it is bringing those questions to him in prayer in the light of that understanding. Um, another book on Lament talks about this idea of if the psalmist had already decided that um, God wasn't faithful, he wouldn't have been bringing his complaints to him. Um, so I just really wanted to encourage um, you all to dig into Lament, to, um, to read a bit more about it, to practice it. Um, but also to really um, embrace meeting God in the midst of our pain and our sorrow. Um, I know from my life some of the deepest encounters I've had with God have been in some of the worst times of my life. Um, and I think sometimes in the church we can often feel like those difficult emotions aren't very Christian or very holy. But actually lament is an act of worship. And God's hands are more than strong enough and more than big enough to cope with the problems that we might have, the pain and the questions. Um, and I think using that example of a, a prayer in pain that leads to trust, lament is how we keep God in the centre of our pain. I think sometimes we can have a temptation to kind of um, hide our pain away from God either because we don't think it's Christian or because we don't think um, we should be feeling pain or that God can't handle it. And if we do that, we never are able to experience the grace God has for us in that moment. But also that pain stays very stuck. And to me, the best way I can understand lament is as a forward propelling motion. Lament is something that moves us forwards. It doesn't rush that process. It doesn't rush to get to the victory but it does stop us staying stuck in that position of pain and despair and questioning forever um so i would really just like to encourage people to um 
yeah, read a little bit more about it, um, experience the the gifts that is lament. Um, and I just wanted to leave you today on um, a, ver a, a verse from a song by Kristen DeMarco. Um, it is a song called Gravity, which has really spoken to me and really helped me open up to God more, but also to sit with other people's pain. And in the song she says, This innocent idolatry, I made you somehow just like me, unable to sit in the suffering. This innocent idolatry, moving too fast past my grief, when you are acquainted with what I'm carrying. So I pray that we're able to meet with the gods who knows our pain, who knows our suffering, and is more than capable of carrying it for us. Thanks. <laughs>